So, MB10 2022, the end of September, the beginning of October, October Fest at the Gloucester Brewery, plus a little bit more. Candid videos, badly recorded, badly lit, lots of mistakes, and then pushed out in 1080p. Keep watching. There could be a lot of embarrassment and many fine ales, especially from the Munich area. You know. Thank you. Well, this is a good start. I'm assuming this is the fire alarm. Can't check the car in. These things happen. Journal entry. I've been here 50 minutes and the internet is down. However, we have lots of fine beers and we have a can-do attitude. And I'm going to check out the German barbecue. So far, so rather wonderful. Oh, I have LTE as well, so there's always a backup. Which you need. I did cheat a bit. There is a light. Um, if only that my face isn't completely in darkness. But here we go. Um, the last video in there was uh, there was a hot dog and sauerkraut and onions, and in the other one there were chips. Strangely enough, no salt and vinegar. Very nice though. Okay. So um, this is day two, the 1st of October time. It's 20 past six, running a little bit behind schedule. I don't even care to be honest, it's good. Um, it's really good. Okay, so yesterday, uh, it was quite misty coming up. Um, coming up along the M4 in Newport and the mist and the lights, it was really nice. And then I got to the Seven Bridge and it was an absolute peace super really rather dangerous as soon as you got off the bridge it disappeared anyway um took it gently up here lots of road works uh, by the entrance to the docks you know by sainsbury's uh got sainsbury's for some food um they seem to do the bacon rolls in costa they seem to be cheaper and now the bacon is smoked as well Spent the morning in the uh, Lord High Constable of England. Really rather nice, actually. Um, and then over to the docks, Quayside, whatever, um, for 12 o'clock. Got the QR code out. I was in there early. They are really, really, really friendly people in, uh, in the Gloucester Brewery. Here's the tip of the day. You, um, you get a glass for your entrance fee and you get one free drink it doesn't matter what size your drink is go for the pint better value for money there and um, the wi-fi was down the wi-fi is down um although i still had lte yeah uh, it came back after about an hour oh um i just gently got a little bit drunk Got quite a lot drunk, to be perfectly honest. And the weather outside was wet. But then again, it is autumn. Now, October. And um, repeat. It's good times. It is really good times. Uh, and I don't want it to end. Um, although I wouldn't mind a longer night, so I could still have a long sleep in and still do all the things in the morning that I'm supposed to do. But you can't always get what you want. Who said that? Rolling Stones, maybe? Right, okay. Uh, I need to get another one of these out. Bye-bye. Day two. I'm a slight bit early. Let's check the watch. Seven minutes. Now over there, there's where they're doing the food. And it's excellent. The aroma is, someone knows is working, wonderful. But I need to be in here. As you would expect, more videos to follow. So, done one, done two, done three, done four. Five is coming on. And 
toasty. This is the in between. Oh, it's all good. Ah, right. Hello, itchy nose. Um, um, yeah, I'm using lights again. It's the Sunday morning, and thoughts of. Well, okay, so Saturday. Saturday, I thought I'd go to the brew house and kitchen because it opened at ten o'clock. <sighs> Here's the thing. If you open at ten o'clock and your bar doesn't open until an hour later, put it in your opening times. Um, it was nice. Uh, the Wi-Fi was slow, much slower than the uh, Lord High Constable of England. Um, I had a coffee there, um, which I nursed for about an hour, which was pleasant, really good. And then I sort of caught up on other things. They had a Marzen Fest beer. I don't know if it was brewed locally. It wasn't bad, but it was six quid a pint. <laughs> oh wow. Um. Ah. Uh, right. Much better day. A bit blustery, but it didn't rain, which was a good thing. Oh, yeah. Um, cost of coffee prices back up to what they were before. So on Friday, must have been an aberration. Must keep quiet about that. Um, they're running out of beer at the Oktoberfest. Apparently, they only have um, one keg of each of the October beers. Although they only had five on and there's six mentioned. So I'm hoping... When I go back there today, they will have another one on. Otherwise, um, the Dortmund uh, Union Pils fear. That was very nice, actually. Um, and if not, then I'll start on their stuff. Uh, especially something like Perfect 10. Uh, it, it was full. As you would expect on a Saturday. Um, and the table that I had to myself on the day before was completely and utterly full. Um, but they were really nice people. And they had a guy with a guitar which blew my eardrums out. Um, so I might sit outside today because, well, you know, tech podcasts. Um, and once you've heard one umpa band, I think you've heard them all. But I could be wrong. Anyway, is it worth it? Yes, it is. Am I having a good time? Yes, it is. Is there any salt and vinegar for the chips? No, there isn't. Ah, these are the times. These are definitely the times. Uh, yeah. Monday the 3rd. And the cold is back. And I'm running behind schedule. I did get up on time and I had a bath and I went back to bed. And yeah, so I feel a little bit shitty although going back to bed has made me feel slightly invigorated and i have some coffee which i've just made so that'll kick me off anyway the look back yesterday um costa coffee doesn't open until nine o'clock so it was eight o'clock in the lord high constable of england a nice day warmer less wind sitting there watching the world go by catching up on desert island dicks which i have sent off to him so that should be coming out pretty soon he says hazy jane 3.99 a bottle wow times are hard times are very hard had an all-day brunch that was good and then over to warehouse number four yeah um it was quiet it was gentle um and there were no new Oktoberfest beers. Although there is a possibility of a February winter beer festival. I think next year they need to get more beer fest beers in. Because that would do for me. It really would do for me. Anyway, I came back and thought, let's have a go at the trial version of Premier Elements. Uh, no H265 and a big banner right across the screen that says Premier End Elements Trial Versions and that's no good. That is no good at all. And I thought, well, what if I bought it? It quotes the prices in sterling. Uh, you go to this site and it's all in dollars pre-tax. And I tried a couple of links and none of them worked. So um, Adobe, get your act together. Oh yeah, I had a look on the Amazon site. Couldn't see it there either, which is a shame. Um, so that is Monday. 
I will slowly get up, I will slowly go to Costa Coffee, and then there will be some pelicaning, he says positively. The last day, Tuesday the 4th of October 2022. Um, yesterday, I'm not sure if it was my cold coming back. It certainly hasn't improved that much, or it was a bit of a hangover. Having a look at my alcohol stats could well have been. Anyway, it was a start, bath, go back to bed, do something, go back to bed. It was late, but not that late. Costa coffee. I'm the Regal, where for some reason the three planes have disappeared. Uh, King Kong's still there, but I don't know where the planes have gone. Um, but it had fast Wi-Fi, and I enjoy that, he said, trying to keep his iPad mini awake. Um, went to the Turk's Head, which has moved now, um, well, probably within 100 yards of the Regal. They have a landlady. I like pubs with landladies who are strong and talk to the punters and know their beer and understand untapped. Yeah, going back today, um, got to get some cash because cash only. Um, and then the pelican. Ah, the pelican. I, I love the pelican and you always have Wi-Fi issues in there and a guy by the bar said this is the one that you need and it was 150 down and 30 up. That is definitely more like it. Um, talking of network speeds, Vodafone and 3UK are thinking of combining. Well, Vodafone have well, no, three have 5G on the other side of the building, but it doesn't penetrate very far and could really be a lot better. And since they bought Relish, their network has been completely overloaded. So combining with Voda, and let's hope they don't shut all the masks down, could be the way forward. Although when I was with Voda, their customer care was rubbish and now three is fairly rubbish. Um, and I'm on with Smarty, which is, I think is owned by 3UK, but it's certainly an NVNO, he says. Mobile virtual network operator. Oh, I remember that. Um, yeah. So here's the plan. Um, Regal, Turk's Head pelican collapse in a heap bye bye so here it is the end of the last day out of the bath no contact lenses desert cam i'm gonna miss this um you know what i did on today um it was the regal it was the turk's head which i'm well cheese and onion filled rolls you can't beat it and the pelican and there was mike with the fast internet oh well so it's a bit of a sleep in tomorrow because i'm staying late because of well rush hour traffic and such like and then going to aldi and maybe i'm being cute to get some compost because i have some summer onion sets <sighs> the thing is is where does it all go um so if I did it again, what would I change? Um, maybe just the Oktoberfest Friday and Sunday. Saturday, because it was packed, maybe go to the Pelican. Yeah, maybe go to the Pelican. Because um, I, like, I like it nice and quiet. I don't like tons and tons of people and discussions and all that sort of stuff. I like sitting in the corner watching Boeing 777s with frozen fuel. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, that sort of thing. It's been a good time. I've really enjoyed it. But now, it's nearly over. And the next one, the next one is a week after next. Great Malvern. And the Weatherspoons Autumn Beer Festival made with just British hops. It's all about the stats. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye. Comments as usual.